This presentation will walk you through how to actually request leave. Um, here's the good news. Although our system has changed slightly, this process is very, very similar. So let me just quickly walk you through it. First and most important, make sure you're on the employee suite, not the administrative suite, but the actual employee suite, where all your employee information is housed. You can easily figure it out because you'll see Employee Information Center. As long as you see that, you're in the right place. Go ahead and click Employee Information Center. And if you do, you'll see that a menu options will come up. You can view your pay stubs, of course, request leave, change your PIN, view your information. You can also um, do some purchase requisitions and budget inquiries in the same window. But for the purposes of this presentation, let's focus on requesting leave. So click request leave. And when you do, all of your information will pop up in terms of what leave you have, how much sick leave you've earned and taken, your balances pending, denied, and so forth. To request leave, though, just simply come over here and look for Add Record. Click that, and this window will pop up, which is very, which is what you're kind of used to doing already, okay, what you're used to seeing. So you list the type of leave you're requesting. And what I love about this new system, it'll show you how much leave you actually have left, right, which is pretty nice. So if you want to take sick leave, let's go ahead and put sick leave in. Put the reason for it. Right? Your start date, just click in here and it, it'll pop up in terms of your date. And your end date, again, this is just like we used to do it on the old system. How many hours? Remember, if you're faculty, it would be seven. But if you're staff or administration, it's eight. And of course, check off the day that that week, that day that it represents. If it's more than one day, of course, just put two, right? So since it's just one day and you simply hit next, I'm going to actually not, I'm scared to hit next because if I hit next, it may go in. <laughs> so let me pick, let me pick a different, let me stop this. I got to do a funny, let me say stop. One of the nicest features under the new employee suite is the ability to look up vendor codes very, very quickly and easily. All you have to do is log in again under the employee suite and click up and click on look up vendor code as I'm doing right here. And it's just wonderful. You can just simply type in, let's say that you're looking for CDW, which is a popular company we use a lot. Click on go and there you go. There's the CDW information. Um, for you to look it up. Let's look up another one, Quill, and hit go. And there you go. You have the code and you also have the name and the, and the street information and zip code. So again, just another great feature. Hope you found this video helpful.